Automating pipelines is so hard. Or is it? Let me tell you about two very powerful features inside of Snowflake that's going to make creating data pipelines super easy for you. The first feature is tasks. Task is a schema level object inside of Snowflake that you can configure to run a piece of code on a schedule. So it's basically like scheduling a task. But you can also configure the task to run based on a trigger. And the way that you do that is the second feature called streams. Streams are also schema level Snowflake objects that you can configure on top of a table and then it can record the insert, update or delete operations that happen on that table. It's a change data capture concept. So every time there's a change on the table, the stream gets updated with that change. And every time there's change data in the stream, then the task gets triggered. Okay, so now let's take a look at how this exactly works inside Snowflake. What you see on my screen right now is my sales source table. This is where I'm collecting all my individual item sales that happen, let's say, through my website. So what you see in the table is the order ID, the order timestamp, the product that was sold, the quantity, and the unit price for the product that was sold. Now, I'm going to be creating a stream on top of this table to track any inserts that happen on this table. So the way that I'm going to do that is say something like create or replace stream on table sales SRC, which is my table. And then I select append only equals true. What this means is that I only want to track inserts. I'm just recording each new transaction that's coming through in terms of the product sold. So I do not need the update or deletes. So let's go ahead and now run this command to create our stream on the sales SRC table. And there we go. We have the stream created. Let's take a second to understand what this really means. What the stream is really doing when it's created on a table is that it's basically recording that point in time as the state of the table at that time. Now this is called the offset. After that point, any changes that happen to the table, what the stream does is it looks at the current state of the table, it subtracts the current state of the table from the offset of the table, runs a differential between the both of those, and then records only the change rows inside the stream. So you can take a look at what's in the stream using a simple select command like you would do on the table. And what we get here is that the stream is empty. And the reason it's empty is because the initial state of the table and the current state of the table is the same. So the offset that the stream recorded and the current state of the table have a difference of zero. The delta is zero. So what do you think will happen when I run this insert command onto the table that we had created? So let's go ahead and check it out. I just inserted two rows into my table. And now let's look at the stream again and see whether it recorded the changes and voila. There you go. You see those two order IDs that I just inserted and that's exactly how streams record changes on table data. In my next video, we'll see how to use the stream to trigger a task.